Quick Saturday night TikTok for you. This one's going to be about saying no as a man and keeping your word. So if you need help with this, I'm going to give you something you need to know in two minutes. And I just got off a new client call. Dude's in Virginia. Absolutely crushing it. Love this guy already. And one of the things that we talked about was keeping your word as a man. And so the scenario I hit him with in the middle of the session was, hey, Saturday night, you made plans to go out with your friends. You told them that you would do it. You said you were going to have fun. But what if one of your other buddies hits you up tomorrow and asks you to go help him move, right? Says, hey, I need your help to go and move uh, a grand piano like two hours tomorrow. I said, would you do it? And he goes, uh, yeah, absolutely. And I said, okay, well, you, at least you're keeping your word. I said, what if you go out tonight, get a little smashed up and you're hungover, you only get like four hours of sleep and you end up moving tomorrow. I said, would you still do it? And he goes, yeah, I would. And I said, okay, well, you're keeping your word there, but who, who wins who, and who loses? He's like, well, I kept my word, so I win. I said, yeah, but you lose energy. You committed to doing so many things because that's a form of people pleasing is not being able to say no. And he's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. I, I get it. And then I said, what, what do you think you could do differently in that scenario, right? He said, well, I could break my word and yada, yada. And I said, well, we all have people who break the word in our lives, right? We have a friend that never keeps their word and we think way less of them, even though they're still part of our friend group. And then we also know people in our lives who always keep their word. And those are the people that we tend to go to for emergencies or big situations, right? And those people are great. But people who always say yes, even if they show up and commit to that, right? You lose personal power. You lose your energy. You lose autonomy. You lose uh, motivation. And that is tough. I don't want people to lose their own autonomy and motivation, their own personal power. I want them to keep it. So I said a better way to handle that would be to say, keep your commitment with your friends and go out tonight. And if your friend calls you last minute to help you move, it means that you weren't really thought of at the forefront of that decision being made. So I said it would probably be better for you to say no, which is a superpower for men. Your ability to say no and say, hey, I wish you had let me know sooner. I would have loved to have helped you. However, I already made commitments tonight and that's where my focus is going to be. Please call me and let me know ahead of time so I can make arrangements to help you next time. That is a much more James Bond gentleman way to handle shit in your life. So learn to say no, right? Learn to keep your own personal boundaries. Stop over committing and stop breaking your word, right? Learn to say no. You don't have to say it in a rude way. You don't have to apologize for saying no. You should have to say, no, I can't do that. Right? I've already made commitments, I've already made plans, and that is something that is going to benefit you for life. Learning how to say yes and keep your commitments, and also learning to say no, and then holding that boundary firm as well. Men and women, bosses, personal relationships, people will respect you for being able to say yes and keeping your word, and also being able to say no clearly and effectively and politely. Okay, hope this helps. Not too abstract of a concept, but apply this in your own life and your own personal power will continue to grow and you will respect yourself for being able to say both yes and no to different situations without over committing, which is the key. Okay. Hit me up. If you guys got questions, check out the links in my bio. If you guys want to buy supplements or book a call, all that stuff is there. Or just shoot me a message. Right. See you guys in the next one.